you're this perp back with another video and i just got done watching baby reindeer on netflix this is a limited series this is written and created by richard gad and he's also starring in this so that's interesting as well and fun fact this is a real story about his stalker um i don't know if his stalker was named martha but let's get into this because this is probably one of the wildest series to drop this year so richard plays our character our main character donnie dunn and he's this inspiring comedian um i think they're in scotland or england or something like that somewhere over overseas and he's just an inspired comedian he's not a good comedian at all and it's the funny thing about it is there is a lot of like dark humor in this and a lot of funny lighthearted moments that will make you laugh you know what i'm saying amongst the over the topness and the emotional traumatic things that happen throughout this whole entire series as you start to watch it uh progress episode by episode and we start off with him kind of monologuing he just feels there's something off about him but you know once he starts to kind of say his kind of monologue this is where he, we get the introduction to um martha because right now donnie is working at this bar and these two really kick it off you know and he just really likes her energy and he is starting to like her a lot and she starts to come around more and they get to know each other but then once episode one ends where he really finds out oh she's not this lawyer that she was talking about she uh he starts to kind of follow her to see just where she's really from then he starts to kind of type in her name and finds out yo she has a history of being a fucking stalker and at that moment i would have been like yeah we we can't do this baby girl no more we just i'm cutting this shit off right now but of course if he did that we wouldn't even have a series because what ends up happening once you get to like episode two and three he realizes oh shit like i don't know what else to do and you know um things just get really fucking weird with uh martha's character as she just becomes way too clingy and he is just trying to avoid her and he also um uh we get introduced to another one of his love interests terry which she is this trans woman i don't know if the actress is actually trans um but yeah they start to kind of kick it off and he starts to kind of tell her about martha and whatnot and she's a therapist so she kind of thinks like this is kind of fascinating and she says some things that are like really interesting about donnie's character it's just like you haven't reported this to the police or anything you probably like this stuff and that gets brought up again um when we meet his actual like first girlfriend keely and now this was like about episode three where we get this kind of backstory about keely this was funny because i was like what the fuck's going on because she and him move in with her mom and then she ends up breaking up with him and then he ends up staying with the mom the ma uh the son passes away or keely's brother passes away and kind of and kind of looks at uh donnie as a not like a replacement son but just kind of you know looked at her looked at him as a son so but that was so weird but then when you get to episode four fuck bro that was tragic and it it gives you all the context that you need to understand like donnie's character and why he was kind of acting weird or moving weird and just you know what i'm saying he meets um he meets this promoter or this like person that works in um the entertainment business because you know when he first gets to this place you know he's trying to get these gigs going he's not funny he's having a hard time fitting in until he meets this guy that has connections 
and they start to get familiar with one another and you know they start doing drugs and that's never a fucking good sign you're just doing drugs with random strangers you know he ends up getting essayed and amongst other things that you know really fuck with his mental and then he's just confused he's just bottling all this stuff up creating more lies on top of lies and just feeling ashamed of himself and once you get to the last like three episodes that's where everything starts to kind of come full circle for donnie's character as he's dealing with a lot of things like at this point once we get to episode five things between him and martha are going completely south it's getting really bad he she even involves his family and let me say like start off by saying that donnie's father had me fucking crying because he matched her energy that shit was fucking hilarious but like it's just crazy to kind of see all this stuff kind of build up and seeing how crazy this character martha was and just ingrained into donnie's life and it's like if that really happened to the the um the writer and director of this like yo that is crazy that is crazy and episode six i think would be possibly my favorite episode because that's where he gets this big gig and you know nobody's really feeling the crowd and until he makes his huge confession on just like what's been going on with him and that shit goes viral and then we get this moment with him and his family um and we find out some stuff about his father that his father went through some similar things so he can kind of understand and I, I really like that moment with his parents because like he's just he's literally just confessing everything he feels right now and he's always thought that his fam his family would look down on him because of this stuff but now like he's able to kind of make amends with certain things and even get justice uh for the whole martha thing even though he feels bad he just this whole time that he's uh you know is sticking around her even though he, he, she has made his life a living hell he still felt empathy for her which is so wild to me because like it, it couldn't be me <laughs> you know and it gets to the point where He's documenting all these voicemails. She left her him like 50 voicemails, which them shits would have got deleted immediately. But he starts to like put them in files based on emotion and color code them. And he kind of references it as like, this is his like podcast. Like this is a Martha podcast. And he learns a lot of, about her. And it's just, he just finds her fascinating in, in that sense, even though she's fucking nuts. But my only gripe with this series is the ending of him going back to his abuser and that whole thing is just, I don't know what to kind of take from that. That was just kind of weird. That really kind of irritated me. But, you know, he he's kind of just at the end getting closure with all these different characters, all this all these things that were kind of bothering him from him being assaulted to him dealing with the stalker just trying to deal with his love life and just get his self right you know what i'm saying and i think all the actors did a phenomenal job especially uh richard gett in this he did a phenomenal job uh also jessica gunning stole the fucking show because she really made me feel like I was uh, my life was on the line or something like that or just she was stalking me but moral of the story is yo just if you find yourself with a Martha run <laughs> do not engage bro do not be like Donnie bro and just kind of play along with the shit because that shit could end up fucking your life up bro <laughs> but man I, I really enjoyed this series though it was fucking tragic it was uh very funny at times the story was insane from start to finish i feel like even the way that this whole entire series was shot looked very clean there's a lot of dope transitions and just 
very clean shots overall just a really well made series and if you get around to checking this out let me know your thoughts in the comments below till next time i will see y'all in the next one peace